Message from Archangel Michael July 2014 Transmitted through Rana Taking control of your destiny, Archangel Michael Beloved Masters, shall we continue the review of some of our most important teachings of the past? It is vital that you have the major objectives of the ascension process firmly entrenched within your memory bank. You are currently in the process of integrating the next appropriate level of Creator Light, with the assistance of your Oversoul Intelligence. Connecting with and integrating the many facets of your fifth dimensional self will ultimately result in a new biological blueprint of creation. Your divine birthright includes all the gifts, talents, attributes and virtues of creation. They are free yours for the taking. However, you must earn them through your own efforts, and then share your integrated wisdom with those on the path behind you. The wise ones the masters of the earth and the initiates on the path have spent countless time and effort to bring forth their talents, and to gain the wisdom they share with everyone who is a seeker of wisdom. Their mission is to make the journey or the task of gaining self-mastery easier, and they deserve remuneration for their efforts. There must be an abundance exchange. You must put forth the time and effort yourself, or you must compensate those who pave the way for you by supplying you with the advanced wisdom teachings of the higher realms. You must lift your ideas and goals to the highest frequencies possible, thereby making them refined ideals which will benefit all humanity. The awakening process entails moving through the many levels of the astral, emotional, plane. Your goal is to center yourself within the mental plane of consciousness. At the appropriate time, a disciple on the path slowly moves beyond physical family duties and responsibilities as his her consciousness, wisdom and light increase. Gradually, the aspirant's influence increases, as does his her potential to become a world server. It takes constant and deliberate effort to tame the ego and to gain the knowledge and expertise required to become a world server. You must be an outstanding example, and also have the ability to excite and stimulate desire for spiritual wisdom, in order to serve humanity as a guiding light. An enlightened teacher offers the truth as it has been revealed to him or her, and also the opportunity for their students to accept or reject the teachings. So many of you are having difficulty in discovering your mission or your passion, and so you drift through your days in inertia. You continue to do nothing making no attempt whatsoever to initiate positive changes in your life. Not everyone is meant to teach the masses or become a world figure. It is those of you who are quietly going about your daily duties, as you make small steady improvements within yourselves while radiating the love light of creation down into the earth and out into the world, who are making the most dramatic impact on the earthly negative environment. We are seeking world servers at a grassroots level. Each and every one of you is needed to help lift and refine the collective consciousness of the masses. As you go through the trials, tests, and challenges of transformation, we wish to offer encouragement to those of you who are feeling helpless and fear there is no way out of the dilemma in which you find yourselves. Won't you open your minds to the possibility that there is help available from the realms of godly existence, and that there is a new way of thinking and a more refined way of living available to you? You pray and often beg in desperation for assistance, however, if it does not come in a form you are comfortable with, you deny and reject it. Prayers are always answered. Prayers asking for the greatest good manifest as miracles large and small, and open the path for a life of ease and grace. Prayers of the ego desire body are answered by allowing you to seek your own solutions, which are manifested from your misconceptions and inappropriate actions. The lessons of life are learned by experiencing what you have created. The ego attracts disharmony and dissatisfaction, and it causes the seeker to look outside of self for solutions and gratification. You must learn to pray with the purity of your heart and with intentions of the highest order. As you raise your light quotient, you will increase the magnetic attraction of the heart. You must learn to receive the abundance bestowed upon you with thanksgiving and a grateful heart. Why not start your mission statement by listing the negative things in your life you would like to change? Begin with several small changes in your life, and remember, you must begin with yourself. We assure you that if you make a concerted effort, and use the tools we have given you, you will begin to see dramatic changes in your life. We ask you to put us to the test. With an open mind, study some of the basic concepts we have given, 
and slowly but faithfully, implement into your daily life those that you resonate to most strongly. Give us permission to guide and inspire you, and by doing so, you will have the forces of heaven behind you. You can only fail if you give up, beloveds. Time is of the essence, for it is very apparent that the fear and anger of the masses, the power of the forces of nature, and the earth changes cleansing are accelerating and increasing in intensity every day. There is an intense polarization building between the various factions, not just in isolated places around the world, but in every country, involving every race, culture, religion, and political affiliation. We have told you that the chasm between the light and the shadow lands is widening, and it is very apparent from both a lofty and earthly viewpoint. We see clearly the areas that are being bathed in the living light, thanks to you, the faithful sentinels of light. We also see the swirling whirlwinds of negativity and chaos building in a multitude of countries, provinces, cities, towns, neighborhoods, and even among families around the world. If you are caught up in the rhetoric of the worldwide news media, you cannot help but be aware that there is a feeding frenzy of negativity being spewed out into the airways and consciousness of those who are receptive to the distorted messages of sensationalism and separation. Fear of deprivation anger at rulers, leaders, and the government, and an indignant sense of entitlement to goods and services, without personal responsibility, are symptomatic of the intense fear of change that is taking place within every area of the world and within the human consciousness. It is time for the next step in the ascension process to begin, and many of the advanced aspirants on the path are already becoming proficient and engrossed in the procedures. At this time, there is no question that those who are in any way advanced in spiritual consciousness are having their awakening evolution process hastened as never before in the history of the world, in order that they may act as transmitters and interpreters of universal law and cosmic truth. You, the aspirants on the path, are becoming proficient at building and using multiple pyramids of light power in the fifth dimension as you slowly but surely become acclimated to a lower fifth dimensional environment. You have opened the pathways to the cities of light so that you can gradually incorporate higher and more refined frequencies of light. You are also preparing yourselves to interact on a regular basis with the many facets of your higher self and the great beings of light. The call of reunification is beginning for many of you, whereby your highly developed soul song is reaching various members of your God Self. As you refine your vibrational patterns and your energetic signature reaches a certain level of harmony, your soul song will begin to reverberate out into and through the fourth, into the fifth and for some of you, possibly even into the sixth dimensions, and very gradually into the auric fields of some of the soul fragments of your higher self. Slowly, as these blessed facets of yourself become aware of you, they will begin the process of moving into alignment with you. Those whose resonance is lower than yours will fall into line below you, and those who are on the path ahead of you will slowly move into the column of light above you. You will also be moving laterally, as well as higher, into the refined realms as all of the fragments of your I Am Presence gradually begin the process of moving closer and closer to your central column of divine light. For some of you this information will be confusing, however, many of you are experiencing this process in varying degrees during your nightly sojourns or in meditation. Therefore, we wish to give you a basic understanding of what is taking place at the various levels of the ascension process. As you study and delve into the mysteries of cosmic truth, you will build a reservoir of knowledge which you can draw upon when needed. Also, as you gain access to your sacred mind, it will seem as if you have tapped into a cosmic source of information, however, in the beginning, it will be your own ancient, extensive past that has been made available to you. You will become increasingly sensitive to ideas, concepts, and complex information, and you will gain the ability to tap into this rich storehouse of information at will. We encourage you to study each of the important points below, until you have a comprehensive understanding of its meaning, so that you may decide if the concept is valid for you. You may then make an intelligent decision as to whether or not you wish to integrate the knowledge, and then claim it as part of your core truth. Discernment is vitally important as you replace your old outdated, restrictive beliefs with new, higher frequency, and expanded conscious awareness. It is the way of a self-master. 
the focused gaze of humanity is being lifted out of the stifling quagmire of earthly existence onto the far distant horizon of the future. Desire for material riches is being replaced with a yearning for soul consciousness. Focused intelligence is necessary to successfully enter the many subplanes of the fifth dimension so that you may tap into the vast storehouse of wisdom and advanced abilities available therein. World servers will be held together by a strong soul connection, a remembrance of a solemn oath to serve humanity, with the common goal of ascending in consciousness. Heartfelt prayers of gratitude and supplication for the greatest good of all, along with soul-focused meditation must become the accepted form of communing with our Father Mother God and the great beings of light. Vast numbers of souls, who are still functioning within the illusion of the third and fourth dimensional environment, are gradually awakening to the nudgings of their soul self as they move beyond the influence of the mass consciousness belief structure. It is vitally important that you gain control of the ego personality and the subconscious mind, so that the oversoul higher self may begin to radiate forth its wisdom to your soul self. It was preordained that facets sparks of the angelic kingdom and of other great beings of light would incarnate on earth, and follow the path of humans. Portals of initiation were opened and have remained open down through the ages. However, in the past, only a few brave souls made it past the open door and gained self-mastery. As you evolve and become skillful at sharing your wisdom with others, you will become increasingly sensitive to the subtle messages, concepts and ideas from your guides, teachers, angelic helpers, and the enlightened masters from the higher realms. When you have turned the information you have garnered into wisdom, and have become a living example of each new, advanced level of consciousness, you will then be qualified to teach the concepts to others. You must experience that which you teach and become a shining example, which is the most effective way to get the attention of others. Remember, my brave ones, in every era and major cycle, cosmic wisdom and divine truth are made available to those with open minds and loving hearts. Submission to the will of our Father Mother God means adherence to the universal laws as they are revealed to you. A self-master always strives to make the highest choices, has a burning desire to serve others, and is always responsible for their own actions. Call on us and allow us to light the way as you journey forth into the future. You are loved most profoundly. I am Archangel Michael.